Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bachman Kung Fu Music. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Turn the volume down. Okay, we're in the key of D. Alright, there's D. Check one, two. testing sorry about that okay so here we are again and i'm gonna see if i can turn this down a little bit wow okay so what we're looking at here is a 1988 or 89 possibly cruise guitar made in korea and this thing is like a 50 dollar guitar and i want to show you something i'm going to switch this over to this part and let's see if i can find it there we go that might work and let's see if we can get to that And voila, I think that's it. Okay, so the headstock on this, somebody probably tried to, to wear it down possibly, or, or I mean, tried to scrape it off, I think. But you, can, you can't see the logo, right? It is scraped off, but you can kind of see it. Right? You can barely make it out. But what that says is cruise, you see? And it says cruise created for VMI and I don't know what VMI is although from what I've seen it's either Virginia Music Institute or Vienna 
Music Institute. So this is another one of these um, guitars, replicas, Stratocasters, 80s. You can see a theme, I think, happening here is these are primarily 80s guitars. And a lot of interesting things happened in the 80s. I mean, in the early 80s, you, you know, Van Halen came in. I think they came in in 78, but I think by the early 80s, they were really uh, pretty much everyone knew who they were. And Eddie Van Halen, uh, people wanted to, people wanted to have uh, get that sound that he was getting, and this was a these these guitar manufacturers could produce these types of guitars for relatively cheap. Okay, I bought this for fifty bucks. Um, this is, to me is something I'm going to work on. It's got grounding issues. Um, I think you can hear. <laughs> You can hear the buzz. There it goes. It goes away. So my goal, one of my goals is with this guitar is to get rid of that buzz, see if I can. But it's also a good, it's a good, it's good to get a guitar like this where you can practice soldering and wiring and, and not have to worry about too much uh, about destroying the value. Okay, but it's surprisingly good sounding. <laughs> Also, uh, when I see this guitar, I think of Rush, Al Alex Lifeson, and you know maybe Stevie Ray Vaughan. Although uh, more more Alex Lifeson, if you ever saw that white Strat that he used um, in the in the 80s, uh, this doesn't really get that Strat sound. I mean, you can see on the on the out of phase or the uh, on the second position between the uh, between the bridge and the middle pickup. Here's the first position. Here's the second position. It doesn't really get that strat sound. Here's the middle pickup. Here's the fourth position, or between the uh, bridge and the middle pickup. Sounds kind of like the, the Strat sound, which is weird. So again, this uh, this idea with the 80s is uh, this was a late 80s. It's a uh, sort of an ebony headstock, and if you look closely at the fretboard, it looks maple, right? But if you look closely, there's something on something, and it looks to me like there is. 
plywood involved. Actually, I know there is. I think that's a plywood fretboard and maybe maple underneath or maybe even more plywood underneath. That's, that's what I heard, that's what I read. I know the body is plywood. The pick, pick guard is some kind of plastic. Um, you know, here's, here's the bridge, right? It's a really kind of cheap bridge and I heard and I've seen that people that use the whammy bar basically will crack whatever's in there, whatever kind of material that is. Um, I put a block of wood in the back to keep it in tune. I don't use the whammy bar on this. And again, this is something I'm going to use to uh, practice rewiring and try and get rid of this kind of buzz sound that's happening. You know? So again, the, uh, what I understand is in the early 80s, uh, Japanese companies were, were reproducing Stratocaster designs and then they started, the, the yen I guess started to go up and they started to have economic problems. That's that over there, over there, over there, I can't, oh there it is, that one. That Strat is a Japanese Strat, uh, 80, 86 Strat and what's interesting is this, is, this came after. Okay, so that was built and then like three years later, four years later maybe, uh, the Japanese company started having trouble and apparently this company opened up and started making these really cheap guitars. This is uh, Korea, by the way. Uh, you can see in the headstock. see but it says made in Korea you can see at the bottom there um, and then this company went out of business and this is the legacy <laughs> they're cheap guitars they're cheap guitars but surprisingly for 50 bucks I think you can get them even cheaper I think they're like 20 bucks now <laughs> company that in the 80s uh, were some of the first like this company this cruise was one of the first supposedly and um, so I don't know uh, I think Ibanez went to Korea eventually or I, I got to check that I don't know that for a fact um, but there were there are definitely other Korean companies that that are excellent they produce excellent instruments um, but I understand this is one of the first <laughs> That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I have a couple more guitars, and then I think uh, that'll be it for a while until I acquire something new. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night, and enjoy. Enjoy.